everyone. In this lesson, we're going to briefly look at the project brief that we have for our prototype. This is going to get us started thinking about what this prototype is so that as we move through the course, we know exactly what we're doing. And we always come back to this project brief. Now, this is really brief. I do this because in a lot of times when you're working with your client, you're not going to get buckets and buckets of information. You may just get a few points and that's what you have to move forward. So my key here is to give you a little bit of information and then some talking points of how you can interpret this and how you can apply this to your prototype project even if you don't have a lot of information. So right here we have our project brief. It's just three points that the client is looking to incorporate into the landing page. Now the idea here is that you've already had some back and forth with your client. You've already gone through the basics. You know exactly what it is that they're looking for in, in terms of the actual website. So now it's just a matter of the prototype. And notice that they're saying that this is what they're looking for for the mobile subscription site. So this is the end result for them. This is what they want to see at the end, but you're interpreting this for your prototype and how you're going to incorporate that into your mock-up and then eventually into that final site. All the while knowing that chances are there are some things that may change here from the project brief because they've been so specific about things such as colors and things like that. So that's always an option that may change if they see the color and then want to go a different way. So this is just going to get us started. So let's go through these three points really quickly. So it says the first one is must contain our branding colors of gray and green. Other colors are up to you. So they're giving you a little bit of creative freedom here. Yay. But they're saying that they really want to stick with their branding colors of gray and green. So again, not super specific. We can use the gray and green how we see fit. And once we start getting into Photoshop and mocking this up, we may see some opportunity here for these colors to really integrate and look really good. So we'll just leave that up to the process because they are really giving us some freedom. So that's what we're going to take away from that piece. The next one is going to give us a little bit of insight into the usability features of this mobile subscription site. And this is a one click subscription method. So that to me would, in, would mean that they don't want a lot of steps here. So a one click subscription method is very specific, something they want to make this easy for their users. And that's up to us to figure out what that means. And does that just mean literally you're inputting your information click or you're just clicking? That's open to us to sort of interpret and present back to the client through our prototype and eventually our interactive components that we create with Envision. And then finally, it needs a confirmation page. So not only do they want the subscription method to be simple and one click, then we need a confirmation page at the end of it that takes them there. If you're familiar with subscription forms that you sign up to, there's a lot of different steps involved here. It could be real simple all the way to several steps. So we're looking for the more one click simple method, but we also need the confirmation page so they don't leave the site. That's the key thing with the mobile device is that they want them to stay on the site so that they can create that confirmation right there. They don't actually have to leave, go to their email, any of that. So that is the three areas. We've looked at branding and color choice. We've looked at the actual actual usability method that they prefer, and then the final result of needing a confirmation page. So now that we've seen the project brief, and it is brief, we are going to move into the user features where we're going to sort of outline a little bit better what options we have to further enhance and flesh out this one-click subscription method.